is Bird Star. And in today's video, this week will be strictly Pokemon. Um, because I don't have much to do, you know, besides Shadow Star playing his game, but I kind of give him the week off. So basically, it's all, it's all me, basically, all Pokemon. Um, yeah, you know, get as much Pokemon because there is, there is over 600 Pokemon. And that's going to take a while to do, you know. I basically go at random, you know, uh, and I cross down the one that I do for the day. And then since there's 700 something Pokemon, you know, 7th gen and everything, uh, yeah. Here we go. Let's get this party started. Ah, damn it, my tablet. Sorry about that. Okay, my chest, my handy dandy tablet. There we go, my. So just give it a second. Uh, so yeah, reason why I ain't, I'm uploading so late. Uh, I was playing, I was playing Binding of Isaac, which is very fun. But hopefully, I am gonna contact you know, uh, the company of Binding of Isaac, see if they could put a save function. Because it would be kind of cool if they did have a save function where you could actually save and pick up where you last left off. Which is actually pretty cool for some, for some people that, um, you know, have trouble. Well, not me, but that would be kind of cool that like you could save and then pick up where you last left off. That would be great for Binding of Isaac. So then you could actually finish the whole game and, you know. Because I actually like the game. It's fun. That's the only thing I'm complaining about. So yeah. Uh, okay, Pidgeot. There we go. Pokemon number 18. Um, It's... It's known as the bird Pokemon, and its typing is normal flying. And later I'll get into its mega evolution, which is super cool. Its generation is fun, stylus. Um, its egg group is flying. Its capture rate 45, its effort value is three times speed. Very good, very, very good. Um, its generate is 50 male, 50 female. And it's and the Pokedex entry says when hunting, it skims the surface of the water at high speed to pick off unwary prey such as Magikarp. Basically, it eats Magikarps for a living. As for its shiny, the only difference is its its hair. It's blonde, basically. So there you guys go. There you guys go. As for its base stats, its HP is 83, its attack is 80, its defense 75, its special attack 70, and its speed, special, def special attack 70, special defense 70, and its speed 101, and it evolves from Pidgeotto at level 36. Its abilities are Tangled Feet, Keen Eye, and its hidden ability Big Pecs. Uh, tangled feet doubles evasion when confusion when when confused keen eye prevents accuracy from being lowered and big pecs protects against defense drops oh sorry I kind of just bypassed the word um, as for its moves upon leveling up uh, level one hurricane which is very strong level one tackle level one sand attack level one gust 
Level 1 Quick Attack, Level 5 Sand Attack, Level 9 Gust, uh, Quick Attack 13, Whirlwind 17, Twister 22, Feather Dance 27, Agility 32, Wing Attack 38, Roost 44 which is good for healing, um, Tailwind 50, Mirror Move 56, uh, Air Slash 62, and Hurricane 68. Uh, as for its name, um, Pigeon and uh, I don't know what the other word is, but yeah, okay, here we go. Its name, origin is Pigeon and Jet. Ah, oh. Pigeon and Jet. Its origin, despite its name, its appearance and behavior resembles a pigeon so much as a bird of prey, specifically true eagles in particular. Its shining coloration resembles golden eagles. Mmm. Nice. Okay. Okay, let's go on to Smogon for battle strategy. I hope they have one. Ooh, sorry. As for regular Pidgeot is PU and Mega is UU. Um, as for its overview, oh, here we go. There we go. Yeah. Okay, Midget. Mega Pidgeot is one of the best revenge killers on Normal, sporting, unrivaled speed, and excellent special attack. It helps immensely in fighting matchup by outpacing and one-hit KOing threats such as Infernape and Keldeo, while also greatly improving the bug and grass matchups, heavily pressuring defense threats such as grass like Ferrothorn and Mega Venusaur. With Heat Wave and Hurricane, Mega Pidgeot also pressure staples on bug like Volcarona and its stab hurricane. Its ability No Guard um, offers a great utility by boosting the accuracy of its attacks, most notably Hurricane. Unfortunately, this comes at a cost, and it also makes Foes in accurate attacks such as Hydro Pump, Focus Blast, and Stone Edge won't miss. As for the name of the battle strategy, it's called Normal. Um, as for its first move is Hurricane, second move Heat Wave, third move Roost, and fourth move U-Turn. As for the item, Pidgeotite. You know, the... For, to Mega Evolve, uh, its ability Big Packs and is Nature Timid, which is a special defense boosting. Um, its EVs are 252 Special Attack, 4 Special Defense, and 252 Speed. As for me, would I use it? Oh, I forgot to uh, tell you the stats for Mega Pidgeot. As for the stats for Mega Pidgeot, its HP is 83, its attack is 80, its defense is 80, its special attack 135, its special defense is 80, and its speed is 121, which is very good. Ooh, sorry. That's for, uh, there you guys go. That's the, oh, sorry, wrong one. Shiny looks exactly the same. There you guys go. So there you guys go. Uh, would I use him? Most likely. Uh, basically, he was my Gen One Pokemon. My go-to Pokemon would be Pidgeot. 
Uh, my first. Uh, if it was Pokemon Red, it would be. It would be Charizard. Well, yeah, he could use Fly, but my first first would be Pidgeot. You know. Uh, my no, my first Pokemon would be Charmander, and once that evolves into Charizard, then it will be my second Pokemon. And my third Pokemon would be Nido King, because he could use Dig. Uh, my fourth would be hmm, who would I use? I would. Uh, Dragonite, most likely. He's pretty good. Who else? Mm -hmm. Raichu. Raichu is pretty good too. Alakazam would be one of them. And my last one would be Gengar, I guess. For Gen 1. The Pokemon that I like the most, you know. They were pretty good in stats. And, uh, so yeah, guys. That does it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.